As the LGBT rights movement continues to make progress in the country, the community here in the Rio Grande Valley says they face a unique set of challenges every day. CBS 4's Annalise Ortiz took a closer look and she's live from the Far McAllen Newsroom with more. Annalise. Marcy and Eddie, individuals who identify as LGBT here in the Rio Grande Valley say that fighting discrimination can be an uphill battle, but there are several organizations working to diminish the stigma that surrounds this community. I was kind of on the rocks, like, should I come out? Should I just stay in the closet and hate life? I don't know. Like many gay youth, Jaime Rodriguez had a difficult time telling his friends and family about who he really is. Growing up Hispanic in, in the Valley, people shame out gay people. You know, all these slurs and all these negative words and that really hurts a person's feelings. That's one thing that probably scares a lot of gay people growing up is that they don't want to come out because then they're going to be a target. When he finally decided to come out, he had his lifelong best friend, Lucy, by his side. And then he was like, what do I do? What do I say? Like, I don't want my dad to say anything. He's like, no, that he's going to kick me out. He's going to tell me this. He's going to tell me that. He got so overwhelmed that he just started crying and crying. And that's when his dad was ask, asking him, he's like, what's wrong with you? ¿Qué tienes? Jaime wasn't alone in fearing how his parents would react. I've had parents call me asking for resources. What do I do? Um, I'm confused. I don't know if my child's confused. Cindy Candia founded the Harlingen chapter of Parents, Families and Friends of Lesbians and Gays, or PFLAG, when her daughter came out to her as a lesbian. I'm, I'm Mexican. I'm born, raised Catholic, um, very traditional. Um, and moving down here was like even more traditional, which I love. Uh, but it keeps, like I said, the parents in the closet. You know, the religion, uh, the Catholics, it's really, really hard for them to accept. She now makes it her mission to help other families build the same kind of bond she shares with her daughter. I just don't want, I couldn't imagine not loving my daughter. I can't imagine that. Um, so it's hard for me to, uh, to hear these parents tell me that they don't want to have their kid living with them because they're gay and that's why I try to tell them, you know, they're your blood. A Pew Research Center survey conducted in May 2015 shows a shift in attitudes when it comes to Americans' acceptance of homosexuality. 57% of Americans said they would not be upset if their child came out to them as gay or lesbian. However, Lucy and Jaime say despite the nationwide changes... There's still a lot of hate in the world. ...they felt discrimination firsthand. People look at him weird and I'll be like, okay, like, what's your problem, you know, like... Especially because he's so loud and he's so outgoing, it's, I'm I guess, there. I'm yeah, there. <laughs> I guess people, people aren't used to that here in the Valley, so they'll, they'll give him a face. Local organizations are trying to combat the stigma that surrounds the LGBT community. Just this weekend, more than 1,500 people showed up to the biggest LGBT convention in South Texas, Pride in the Park. I think what we're trying to do and what a lot of the other folks are trying to do are put those, those, those individuals up front in the community and spotlight that we're as much of this community as anybody else. Jaime and Lucy say although events like Pride in the Park are one way to promote tolerance, they still think there's a long way to go to achieve equality. I mean, there's a lot of work. There's a lot done. of work to be done. But I mean, luckily we're, we're you know, on the right path. We're working on it, so, so I think slowly but surely we're going to get to to a place where we need to be. Jaime says out of everyone in his family, his dad has come the farthest when it comes to learning to accept and love him for who he is. It wasn't until Christmas Eve when he met my first boyfriend and immediately he cracked a joke with him, so I'm like, okay, he likes him. And after that, it's, he's been pretty chill with it. I mean, my, my family's really accepting. He hopes other LGBT youth will find the same support that he has. Now, if you are looking for resources for an LGBT individual in your life or their families, you can check out the South Texas Equality Project's Facebook page. I'm live from our Farm McAllen newsroom, Annalise Ortiz, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.